So hello everyone and welcome to this next lecture in which case in this I am going to download and install the Anaconda software. So to begin with just open any web browser of your choice. I have Google Chrome but you could use Internet Explorer, you could use Mozilla Firefox, anything that you want. So in Google look for Anaconda software. So it's important that you look for, I mean, it's a suggestion that you look for Anaconda software, not just Anaconda, because otherwise you might get like a Wikipedia page on the snake instead of the actual software. So the first link is the link related to the Anaconda distribution. So let's click on it. So this is the home page of Anaconda. And I would say that if not now, at some point, do try to spend some time and learn what Anaconda is because it's a very, very hot project right now in the Python world for all Python developers, particularly those who are working for machine learning, data science, artificial intelligence, because they are doing a lot to make their, to make the life of like artificial intelligence developers much easier. So click on this link, why Anaconda? And this tells you more about the project. So for example, this tells you what they are trying to do, like what is their vision? how they are planning to help people doing machine learning to like, you know, to make their machine learning tools much faster, how they can deploy machine learning and AI projects into production at scale. So it's a really, really very impressive project. And I would say check it out because even if you do, are, if you are interested in Python development in general, besides not just besides Python Power Electronics, you could continue to use this for various other reasons. So now that we've done this, most important for us is we download the version. So go over to download and we get the download page. So way below, you will see that you have three options, Windows, Mac OS and Linux. Now I'm going to choose Windows because that's what we are installing for. So we now get this one, this term saying it's the Anaconda installer for Windows. Now this is the release date that is March 2019, which is recent enough. We have two options, Python 3.7 and Python 2.7. At the time when you watch this video, you may not be seeing Python 3.7. You might be seeing something a little higher like Python 3.8, Python 3.9 or something even more. Doesn't really matter as long as there's a 3 in front of it. All right. Do not install Python 2. Python 2 is almost considered to be legacy software. So it will become obsolete pretty soon. And I think they're going to stop all support for Python 2 by the year 2020. So install Python 3. So if you click on this download button, it's going to install the 64-bit graphic installer. And if you see, the size is huge. It's a 662 MB file, which is pretty huge and will take you a lot of time to download depending on your internet speed. It takes me around five to six minutes. Now, most computers, if you bought your computer sometime in the past five years, it is probably a 64-bit computer, right? If your computer is really old, like it's a 32-bit computer, then it's like 10 years old, then you probably have a 32 bit computer. So check out what your operating system is and install the right graph, install the right one. So the default is the 64 bit one. I'm just going to click on it. So it's just going to give you Windows security is going to give you this saying that do you really want to download an exe file? It could mess up your system. Just go ahead, say keep, which will start the installation. So it's a really large install. It takes, it's saying five minutes, but I think it takes a little longer than that. So I'm going to pause the video right now and I'm going to come back when the installation is complete. So I will see you soon. So the download is finally done. So to do this, all I have to do is run this file. So let me run it. The Windows security will probably kick in and ask if you really want to install this file. So let's wait for that to happen. So this is the Anaconda setup. Now, if you have watched the Linux installations, you'll find that unfortunately the Windows installation is a little easier. So all we have to do is just follow the instructions. And again, you have to install, you have to accept the license, license agreement. You can read it if you want. I don't know who does, but anyway, let's agree. So who do I install it for? You can install it for just yourself in which case you don't need root privileges or you can use it for all users which needs admin privileges. It's really up to you. I'll just install it for me. So 
here there's an advanced option it says add anaconda to my path variable it says not recommended so if it's not recommended let's not do it so the next question is register anaconda as my default python 3.7 this is just so that if you're using any other software which needs python it's going to pick up the anaconda python that is the anaconda version of that which is python 3.6 which is what we've installed and that's perfectly okay so as always within windows unless you really know what you're doing you just can you just can go with the custom installation options so this also will be i think a fairly long installation so i'm just going to pause the video and come back when it's done so the installation is finally complete as you can see it shows this completed bar it took a while it took almost 10 minutes so be prepared for that all you have to do is click on this and it gives you a little bit of an info saying that you can actually use this IDE called PyCharm, which is available in this site. It's totally up to you. I will not use this PyCharm IDE. Instead, I will tell you another way to run, run all our Python files. So for now, we just can click next. We are ready to go. And this is just like a thank you page and how you want to learn more about Anaconda Cloud. We don't have to because this will probably launch all these. So. Let's uncheck these two boxes because it'll probably get, we don't need Anaconda Cloud and we don't need to learn how to get started. We will be starting a tutorial. So we can finish it off. So with this, we have successfully installed Anaconda. Now in the next lecture, I'm going to talk about how we set up the Anaconda environment. So for now, I'm going to end this lecture. If anyone had any problem, like you got any errors, something didn't work, something couldn't work. There was another bug fix or it just like you're using an older version of Windows and things didn't work out. Please do post in the Q&A forum and I will be happy to help you out. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next lecture where we shall set up the Anaconda environment. So, I shall see you soon. Goodbye for now. Thank you so much.